Tutorial number 184. In this tutorial, we will talk about the next command in the mold tools menu, the parting surface. And we will see what are the parting surface and why we need them. And see how to insert parting surfaces and have a look at the selection manager options and the surfaces types. And then we will see how to edit the parting surface manually, when and why, and then have a look at the end at the mold folders. Here we have the mobile cover from the previous tutorial where when we perform the shut off surfaces which are now ready and you may wonder this shut off surfaces are the parting surface between the mold bars cavity and core but on the border of the mobile but the mold exceeding the border of the mold so that is the work of the parting surface is to extend the shut off surfaces so in other words the parting surfaces parting surfaces are extend to the shut off surfaces we call it also the shut off surfaces as well parting surfaces but on the mobile area And for the parting surface, it takes the parting lines as a reference from where it will extend. So as you notice here, we have the red shut off surface on the mobile and here it ends on the parting lines. And now we will extend that surface to cover the mold blocks. To insert a parting surface click on the parting surface over there and here you will get the options in this case we will pick the perpendicular to pull surface because we know the pull surface for that mobile cover which was the top plane which is already selected over there but in some products you need to choose normal to surface or tangent to surface so in case of we pick the tangent surf to surface it you will not notice any difference because it will be already tangent to the pole surface but if we pick the normal to surface you will see the difference over there but in this case we don't have any complicated product and this might be easy to extract and it is enough to use perpendicular to the pole and here the parting line as we said it is the edges or from where you extend the surface and the parting surface here you can reverse the direction of the parting surface but this is not the right case we need to reverse the direction and here we can make it more for example 10 size here we make it 50 and here you have the angle in case if we use normal to surface here you are able to change as well the angle of the surface related to the parting line here for example if we increase it but we, as we said we will take the perpendicular to the pole and here you select the type of smoothing if you pick the top layer you might not see any difference because we don't have any sharp edges or open edges so you'll not notice any difference we will try to have an example with another case where the parking surface is separated and in the last options we have meet all surfaces in this case we have only one surface and there is no more than any surface so that will not make any difference here is the preview and the manual mode here you can modify 
or edit the parting surface if you have a more complicated chip but in this case we don't need to use the manual mode because this is the default chip and as we said we will have another case where we need to edit the parting surface manually so this look fine and when you are done click ok so here we have the parting surface which is going to separate between the core and cavity outside the parting line and now let's have a look at the mold folders from the previous tutorial you remember we have 22 cavity surface bodies which represent the inside over there and 22 for the core and we have one more surface so the total number of surfaces are 45 and all of them will have a purpose to separate between the core and cavity and here is the parting surface which we added in this tutorial